All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today was Bellsprout Community Day. And as you see on screen already, we are going to go through what Bellsprouts we caught and if we got any good ones. Um, there is a surprise at the end that I did two trades and they're sick. So let's go through the Bellsprout first, then we'll go over and have a look at the trades. So if we do look at our Bellsprouts, did we get a four star, which is 100%? No, we did not. Um, it's been quite a few calm days now where I've not had a four star and usually I'm in an area that you're getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bell sprout. So I'm starting to like this they feel like they're becoming more and more rare, which I'm actually really happy with. It may seem a bit thing, but I'd rather have four stars be really rare in the wild and from raids. So when someone does say I've got a hundo, it's better for the community, you can put a post out, things like that. So I'm happy that they are potentially becoming rarer than they than they used to be. Um, obviously, you did have a lot of people sniping back in the day, so they had a full account of 100%. So there is that as well. Um, then if we look at our shiny bell sprouts, I think we did only get seven. Yes, we did. So they're not the greatest. Uh, I think the max I got was a two star, which was a bit meh. But it doesn't matter. Bell sprout wasn't the greatest of Pokemon to be looking at at Community Day. That is going to be. So I think this year, my favourite is going to be either Primarina, because that is quite good in PvP, and having Hydro Cannon will be huge. Um, and then obviously you've got Gumi in June as well, which will be another one that's really cute. It depends on the moveset. Um, but I do think it will get more and more popular in PvP, because if we do look at Gudra in the Ultra League, it's already at rank 40. Um, if we go to the Great League, it's on 26. So having that better moveset is going to benefit Gudra so much. And I cannot wait to see what moveset it gets. Um, other than that, let's go over the two trades that I did. And they are insane. So we got a, I did two, um, two special trades as per the community day. You get an extra one. And um, one was this Cosmog, which um, is 96, uh, 92, sorry which is huge for the account because I haven't got a really good Cosmog. And then I also have a Hisuian Growlithe 2, which is shiny, which got okay IVs, wasn't the greatest, but it is lucky. Now, none of these friends that I trade with were lucky friends on my account, so it's so lucky that I got both shiny. And I can't wait to evolve them in the future, but for now, Cosmog's going to stay at Cosmog. And I will probably, you know what, let's, no. There's a reason why I'm not evolving this. Um, and usually that is because if we look at previous Pokemon like the Wooper, they came out as community days. So maybe Hisui and Growlithe and Growlithe are going to have a classic one, which would be really good. So I am going to keep it there just in case and then evolve it when the moveset's better. But other than that, that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Thank you all for watching. It is just a quick one to go over Com Day. Um, then we will bring out, um, I think today was supposed to be Rival Lock, but I think I said it in the last episode as well, I cannot find my episode 9. Um, so we are a bit in limbo about it at the minute because I might just have to post episode 10, but put something at the start to say like, um, this is what happened. Because we have had a rival match between me and Nathan in that episode at the start. So... I will probably just put like an intro to it before the gameplay and then we'll move on from there. So like I said, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you got anything good on the community day. I hope you all did better than me. Um, also, please subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll speak to you all in the next one.